Hello, and today I'm going to tell you the difference between Dendro main character and Kole. Now the comparison between the two is actually pretty silly. It's no different than trying to compare between the hare versus the tortoise. And it's not in terms of how they run, it's in terms of how fast they can apply Dendro. And in this video, you're going to see exactly why. So in order for us to see the difference between the two in terms of Dendro application, we have to look at all their kit in terms of anything that provides Dendro application. So for Dendro main character, the only way he can apply Dendro application is through his animator skill and his burst. Both of his passive ability provide buff and it does not provide any means to provide Dendro ability. His constellation wise, only C2 is the one that actually increased his potential to provide more long lasting Dendro application. But the interesting thing about his burst is that it actually has three state. Hydro, Electro and Pyro. We're not going to talk about Pyro because it just go kaboom, but Electro and Hydro will still provide Dendro application in the long run. So I'm going to show you the difference between the two. So for this, you can see the Hydro state and you can see that its range is pretty dramatic. And the attack speed is about 1.5 seconds per hit. And when we look into Electro transfiguration after I tune it out, it has an attack speed roughly about 53 frames per second, so it's not exactly a 1.5 boost, it's close to it. And a side-by-side -side comparison in slow-mo, you can see that you can roughly get an extra hit for every 2 hit from the base version. But as compared to the Electro configuration, you can roughly get 12 hit for the full 12 second duration. And it's only going to be more with the Constellation 2 effect. So when we look into Kole's ability, it's pretty interesting. Her E skill throws and boomerang. Once the boomerang returns, you actually trigger another instance of Dendro. It basically means it has no internal cooldown. But the catch is, your boomerang cannot be stuck between certain big enemies, which is a kind of a common theme if you were to fight against the new rune guards. But that's not all. Her accession 2 passive actually complements with her elemental skills. Which states that as long as you can trigger a danger related reaction before the boomerangs come back, you will get an sprout ability. Now, sprout is pretty important, and you can see it from this clip. Once I do so, as it come back, sprout can help me trigger another instance of dendro. Now, this is pretty important later on, and not only that, sprout is considered as an elemental skill, it is separated from your burst, so you can actually make use of this and pair it together with your burst for max result. And as you can see earlier on, it's actually pretty easy to trigger this passive ability as long as your target has an element that you can react with. And as you have already guessed, Sprout only lasts 3 seconds which is pretty short. So, another interesting thing is with a Constellation 2. Basically, you still do the same thing, try to trigger a danger reaction before the boomerang come back, which increases her Sprout ability to the max of 6 seconds instead of the usual 3. So this is pretty huge. It meant that you can apply more dendro in the long run, so that's pretty cool. Of course, I haven't forgotten about her burst. Now, I will have to be honest. Her burst is a bit limited. I will not say about her damage yet. I haven't known much about it. But her dendro application for her burst is not the usual internal cooldown that we all know. The usual rule is 2.5 seconds or the 3 hit rule. But for Kohli, it's not the same. She has what? A 3 second internal cooldown or a 6 hit internal cooldown rule. So because of that, you can roughly only trigger like 2 or 3 dendro application in the whole duration depending on if you can actually make full use of her ascension 4 abilities which actually helps to increase her burst duration which is pretty easy to trigger once you get the right team set up so although it's quite a lackluster but i think it's to balance the fact that she has a sprout ability on her ascension 2 and if you were to put all her ability all together this is how much she can trigger on all her kits alone So you can see in the short duration, you can trigger a lot of dendro application. And since my Kohli is only C0, I can show you what C2 can do, which I'm pretty sure is going to do a lot more. And I think the main question that you want to ask is, so what if Kohli can provide a lot more dendro application as compared to the Traveler in the short burst of time? Well, this is exactly why. So this is with Kohli and the same setup. Not forgetting that Zhongli has a resistance shred that can actually push the advantage. 
but don't worry this is going to be repeated on the other team as well of course the hydro herbs this did heal once but it doesn't change the fact it does take slightly longer time and you also have to note that in Kole showcase she isn't c2 if she is c2 things is going to be very different but as for the dendro traveler no, it only increases the on field duration of his burst it doesn't change how much he can apply so as a whole i just want you to know that Kole is an amazing dendro applicator well, she'd only do so in short duration of time, but it doesn't change the fact that this is what makes her so good. Now, of course, I don't know about damage yet. Maybe she can do quite good damage, but this will have to wait until I manage to get all the material to do a proper showcase that can properly attribute her in the right light, you know. Instead of the bad light, she sucks or how bad she is because it's so early and nobody knows what to maximize her. And I believe this is the team going forward too. Other than that, if you think this video helps you, please give me a like so that I know that this is a pretty good kind of concept to go on in the future. Other than that, that's all.